Hello everyone, there's just a quick little video showing you how to weld a word inside a rectangular frame using Silhouette Studio. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my frame. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool and just drag out a frame the size that I want. And as you can see, as I'm dragging out, you can see the height and the width are actually showing on the screen. Now you'll notice that I've got these in centimetres. If I wanted to use inches, I can go to File, Preferences, measurements and then I can choose what I prefer to work in but I prefer to work in centimeters so I'm leaving it on that one for the moment just say okay and it will change the settings that you're using we can check the setting I mean I'm not worried if we wanted to make this um, 12 points so we've got 12.7 on there I can make it larger or smaller if I want to just by dragging the box out to size but we leave it as it is for the moment now I want to make the actual frame so I'm going to select my square I'm going to go up to the offset box which is this little one here that looks like a little door and then we've got the opportunity to offset outside or internal offset we're going to offset outside so we just click on that and you can see I've got another box opened up around it you can see that on the edge of these I've got rounded edges it doesn't matter for what we're doing but if you wanted to have sharp ones you can select the sharp corner and you can see that they've changed. We need a slightly wider gap, so we can either type a figure in here or we can use the drag button and just move it along. Just that sort of size will do for the moment. We now want to make these, at the moment, these are two separate rectangles. I can move them about wherever I want to. So if I just undo that and put it back for the moment, take the select tool select both rectangles by dragging a box around them and we're going to go up to the modify window which is this little grey box with the M in it you've got various options in there what I'm going to do is I want to make these two rectangles one object so I'm going to make a compound path now if I select it and move it about you can see that both rectangles move at the same time and I can't do anything to individually if I select it you'll see the select box come on the outside and that's because the whole thing is now one object now we want to type our word so we'll take the text tool and I'm just going to type in birthday click off and select it and I can now choose whichever font I want that I've got on my computer any fonts that you've got installed on your computer will be shown in this scroll down box the one I'm going to be using is one of my favorites which is vague rounded and I just like that because it's a nice rounded shape let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see what we're doing we've got the word there the R and the T are overlapping but the others are split apart at the moment we can go down here you can see the size so we can either drag the word out larger or we can change it in the text size and I can also get these to overlap by just moving the character spacing just so that they overlap a little bit till I'm happy I think they're overlapping there the other thing I want to do is that the spot on the O at the moment is just off of the eye so we'll be separate so if I just take either the square rectangle or the roundy rectangle it doesn't matter just draw a tiny little rectangle on there connecting the two together that word will weld in all at once so let's just zoom back out again select the word make it a little bit bigger so that it spans over my inside rectangle my little rectangles come out there let's just put that back in zoom out a little bit more select the whole thing go up to our modify box again and weld and there you can see we've got our word welded inside our rectangle and then how simple was that at the moment that is going to be a separate whole thing there you'd end up cutting the outside out as well which is okay if you wanted to stick it to the front of a card but if you just wanted the aperture to cut with the word on it if we just select it a moment and release the path we can now take that outside one off select it and delete so we've now just got an aperture and our word inside 
if we select that you can see that it will still move apart which is not what we want to do so let's just get that back in the right place select it and at the bottom here we've got a group group it and now when I move it it stays the same and that will now cut as an aperture on your card you can make different shapes you can make oval shapes as well if you wanted to um, it really doesn't matter but that's a quick and simple way of how to make a welded word in silhouette studio